In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a PayPal account that has been temporarily limited and is requesting you to provide proof of fulfillment. Now, the first thing you want to do, of course, is to log into your PayPal account and you want to click on the notification icon that is saying they have noticed unusual activity in your account. Now, what happens is that the PayPal auto security feature, when it notices unusual behavior in your account, will place a temporal limit on your account. Now, the unusual behavior can vary from you logging into your PayPal account from a different location or sometimes just using your PayPal account with another device device or receiving frequent payments more than you do. So that triggers the security feature to limit your account. Now the challenge comes in with what documents the security feature will place or request from your account. And one of those things is what we, is known as the, the proof of fulfillment. I don't know for some reason PayPal just assumes that everyone is shipping physical items. So probably that's why they request for this. However, if you're watching this video, I assume you are like me who does not do any physical shipping most of the services you offer online are digitally distributed or electronically delivered so this is how you're going to fix your paypal account with this temporal limit so the first thing you should look at here on the screen what paypal is requesting for is requesting for business information proof of fulfillment and also a proof of purchase from my suppliers. Like I've mentioned already, I don't even ship any physical items. All the services that I provide are electronically distributed. Now, I've already submitted my business information and the reason is before I decided to create this video, I had already done that and it was just upon finishing that that I realized that maybe there's someone out there who also is facing this exact situation. So all you have to do when you're submitting your business information simply provide the details of your business now you have to make sure that the business information you provide is within the acceptable type of business people allows you don't want to provide any illegal type of businesses or anything to do with gambling cryptocurrencies and the likes so you want to mention that your, your services are under this type of services and mostly those services are produced online for example graphics design you can produce graphics designs and deliver them electronically so you want to mention that and you want your category to be under services and also give a brief explanation of your services and mention that you provide the services electronically once you do that what you want to do is now you want to click the resolve option under the fulfillment the proof of fulfillment now when you click on the resolve option what will happen is that PayPal will show you the transaction that triggered the limitation on your account now you want to get the details of this transaction and people will show you the ID so just make sure you take note of those IDs and you want to find those IDs in your PayPal account all you have to do is simply go to the recent activity area of your PayPal account and you want to find your transaction ID that are corresponding with the IDs that PayPal showed you that triggered the limitation. Now, what you want to do first and foremost, like I've already mentioned, we are not shipping. The business that we provide does not involve shipping. So you want to change the tracking information of your business to does not require shipping. So you want to go to the transaction and under the shipping options and you want to add the shipping information and simply change it to does not require shipping. So whether the transaction is completed on hold or whatever, just make sure you tick not, does not require shipping. And once you do that, you want to download the file as a PDF. Make sure you name it something you can remember corresponding to the ID or the transaction ID so that you can easily upload it. So once you do that, you want to do the same thing if you have multiple transactions do the same thing for the others simply change them to manual shipping or does not require shipping and you want to download them as pdf and once you do that you want to go back to the resolve proof of fulfillment and from here what you want to do is now you want to upload the documents and also you want to provide some details okay so now when you are uploading the document we want also to give a mini explanation just a few words and mention that the services that you provide are delivered electronically and they are intangible goods so just make sure you do that provide that simple description just that note and provide it in the description and also 
also upload that document that is showing that it was manually shipped or does not require shipped. Now make sure you upload the document that is corresponding to the transaction ID. Once you do that, you do the same thing for the other document. If you have multiple documents that trigger the limitation, you do the same thing for the other documents and you upload them as it is required. So once you've uploaded the documents that are showing that the transactions do not require shipping, you want to provide now proof of purchase. Now, because you are not shipping anything, you are probably not buying anything from any supplier. So in order to fix this, what you're going to do is click again on the resolve button. And this time around, you're going to write a letter to PayPal. You want to write a letter to PayPal. And an example of the letter that I actually wrote, I'm going to show you this one. So you can see it is saying, uh, this is now dear PayPal reference proof of purchase from supplier. And you can see it's saying with reference to the above subject matter. Now you have to explain to PayPal that your business does not provide any physical goods or does not sell any physical goods. But what you do is provide services that are delivered electronically and also your customer receives that service electronically okay so they receive the service electronically they use the items electronically and the likes and you want to indicate your name don't provide any personal details apart from your name all right and once you do that this is the letter you just have to type it out save it as a pdf and you're going to upload it to the dashboard you want to upload it under proof from purchase or proof of purchase from supplier and you also have to give a mini description if you want you just indicate a small explanation and the likes then you explain to PayPal the reason and the likes that you are providing electronically distributed uh, services so there's no need for you buying any stuff from any supplier upon clicking the submit it only took around five minutes and my account was fully functional so that's how you fix a PayPal account that has been limited and requesting proof of fulfillment. So if this video was helpful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section by simply saying thank you. All right. Thank you.